could go in up to someone else and be like, yeah, I really like Rachel, but like, it'd just be nice if every once in a while you could tell me that. <laughs> Right, so a friend sent me two clips and he's asked me to critique, well, he sent me the two clips and he said, what do you think of this? That's all the message was, what do you think of these two clips? At first, I thought, you know what, I haven't really got time for, for, for silly videos and stuff. I, I clicked on the videos and I had a watch and it was Love Island. Now, just for the record, I don't watch TV. I definitely, if I did watch TV, I wouldn't be watching Love Island because I really haven't got the time for things like that. But I need to, I need to put this out just to show you and give you an example of two different reactions. There's all types of men in the world today. There are still masculine men of the past, men that know how to be men, men that know how to handle situations. <clears throat> And we've got a new breed of men on the scene um, called the Blue Pillars. These are men, well, they're not actually men anymore. They are, they're boys, basically, or, or women in, in, in a man's body. Um, it's, it's a real sad sight to see when you see a grown man acting in this sort of way. Now, I'm going to play the clips um, so you can understand a bit more about what I'm talking about here. So here's the first clip. And I want you to just look at this conversation. And straight away, you'll probably know what the issues are. So I'm going to play the first clip here. So then, kind I don't... of happened to me, for me today. Like... But, but like, you know what, just like, it's a little bit harder now because it's like, today it's me, tomorrow it's Aaron, today it's me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yesterday it was you, today it's Aaron. I'm allowed to get to know other no, people and and you're have absolutely. and develop feelings for other people and make yeah. my mind up. I'm allowed to do that. I don't think a lot of people in this villa understand what getting to know people means. Like it means I can talk to other people. I'm not exclusive to you. I wouldn't have said what I said at the recoupling. You know what I mean? Like I would have. Why are you but, all saying the, no, 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 that? No, listen, that listen. you wouldn't have said what you said no, 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 had no, you no, have because, known. No, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. You wouldn't finish, have been true finish, to finish, yourself. No, no, no. Because can you not sweetie me? That's like really condescending. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. This is really just the way I speak. I don't mean to, you know, like make you feel any sort of way. Like I'm serious. Just this is coming from like, like a good place. Like, I don't want you. Please, man. Don't. Don't smoothie me. Um, can someone explain to me what that means? Smoothie, okay, you make smoothies in a blender, you blend it up, so... I have no idea what she's talking about. Um, don't smoothie me. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry. Like, come on, bro, like, where's your balls, man? Seriously? Oh, um... These sort of things really frustrate me. And I mean, to the level where if I was there, I would have just grabbed him and said, bruv, what are you doing? But anyway, I'm going to play the second clip and I want you to see the difference. Do you know how fucking hard that is? Mm. It did make me question what Chris and I have. And like, it's really easy to go on up to someone else and be like, yeah, I really like Rachel. But like, it would just be nice if every once in a while you could tell me that. I have told you that multiple times. I don't know where you're pulling this from. I'm confused because, like, there's only so much I can do. Rachel has my undivided attention all the time. Like, I barely ever talk to the other girls. They all know that they're only friends to me, and that's... I've made that clear to every single person in the villa. It absolutely astonishes me how pretty you are, and I always tell you that. Yeah, and, like, I think it's really great that you tell me I'm pretty because so you're telling every other girl she's pretty. Like, you literally walk into the girls room and you're like, wow, you all look gorgeous. I think that's great. You give, like, everyone compliments. I think, I think you but, like, take you that Like, you know, I don't really feel special. Yeah, I just sick. feel like another girl, but I'm just, like, the one you picked. This is where my trust issues come into play. In the back of my head, I just thought, he went, this is the, like, first girl I've met. I'm going to just stick with her because she's comfortable. 
Well, if that's how you're going to constantly think about it and, like, look at it, I'm never going to be able to change that, that narrative. Yeah, like, Chris, if I'm too much for you, you can go find less somewhere else. Well, that's not what I was saying, but... I feel like I've vocalised a lot of how I feel towards her. I don't know what to say to that. No matter what I'm doing, I feel like it's always my fault. I'm trying to just, you know, like, I'm trying my best with you too. Like, I know I've got some things to work through. I'm finding it really hard to be the person that she somehow wants me to be, but then, I don't know, like... But it's not easy. Yeah, no, it's not easy. Especially when you don't pull me for chats, when you don't... When you're kind of giving the same compliments you get to me to every other girl. That's... Look at that's, Chris, can you just listen to me? No, that's bullshit. I'm not listening to that. I'm not going to accept that. Now that's my kind of guy, you know, I don't have to listen to this bullshit and I'm off. You know, you don't have to listen to anyone's bullshit, doesn't matter who it is. If, I mean, there are different examples I could give you, um, but you could see clearly in the second clip, that girl in the second clip has had past issues, there is something else going on there, it's there's more to that. Um, I'll play this this other last little bit here just to get some more context on that second clip there. I've had quite a few bad relationships that have really destroyed my trust in good men. So it's, it's scaring me essentially. I'm terrified right now. I feel like Rachel just keeps finding problems with us, man. Why? I don't understand. Uh, you guys look so good. And then yeah, I don't know. I don't talk know. to me. What is she saying? Have you seen me compliment her and always and checking her and always? Absolutely, yeah. It, exactly. And then she, she, she says to me, you say that to all the other girls that they look good as well, so it means nothing. Like, kind of like it means like, well, you know. Past trauma, son. Past trauma, that's what it sounds like. Mm-hmm. And I feel like you've got to dig that up a little bit and talk about that because that's what it sounds like. It sounds like it's not you. It's actually something she's dealing with inside. I don't know what else I can do. Like... So as you can see, the girl... She even said herself, she's had bad relationships in the past. Now your past should only should only make you better for future relationships. If you've had if you've had a bad relationship in the past, then your future relationships you would have learned from all the bad things, and you would try and make sure they wouldn't happen in your in your future relationships. That's the idea. That's the ideal of failing. You learn and you come again and, you, and you, you're smarter and you're wiser. So in her case, she's had bad relationships in the past and she's bringing them into the future and it's causing problems for her. But my, my main point is the two different reactions. Men need to become men again because this is ridiculous. The guy in the first clip was just making a point He didn't finish making his point and she cut him off and he said, let me finish. And she wouldn't let him finish. She kept talking. He says, no, no, let me finish. Let me finish. She wouldn't let him finish. And then she said, don't smooth me. And he's like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That is a blue pill beta male. That is what you call a simp. Because if you watch the rest of the show, which... I'm not going to play to you, but she went off to another man anyway. And he's just left with his balls in his hand. The other guy, they came back and they talked and they sorted it out. So, you know, the, the number two reaction for me, that that is more of a reaction from somebody who is a red pill. A red pill male, because... Personally, red pill males, they, they wouldn't even get emotional in conversations with, with women. A red, a red somebody, a male that has taken the red pill is, is the sort of person that is in control of their emotions. And they are just calm. They're calm in any sort of interaction. Obviously, if it starts to get physical, then people change. But 
when it comes to a discussion, doesn't matter what sort of discussion it is, somebody who's in control of their emotions will always stay calm. They won't need to get up and say, you know, that's bullshit. I, I don't, I don't, want, I'm not hearing this. Obviously, there are situations where you would have. Sometimes you have to leave the conversation. But the simple fact is, there's no point arguing with somebody who hasn't got any logic, hasn't got any reasoning, any understanding. And it's mainly conversations with women that you you, you get this um, sort of point. Now, some people say to me that I pick on women. I'm evil on women. I hate women. If you know me personally, you know that's just, it's just talk. It's not a fact that I hate women. How can I hate women when I haven't met every woman on the planet? I can have an opinion about all the women I've I've come across and all the women that I see online. I can have an opinion, but I can't say I hate women. What I do hate is people that lack understanding. I hate to see men getting finessed by women. So my aim is to try and help men to understand women a lot more. And while I'm doing that, if I can educate any women to act better as well, then then that is my job here. But just looking at the two reactions, you know, when you watch these things, you may have been in this situation before yourself. If someone's not going to let you speak, it's not a conversation. 